Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to go through one of the best methods for quickly farming large amount of Pokemon materials to use in the brand new item printer facility in the Indigo Disc. So one of the brand new facilities that we've got in the Indigo Disc with the DLC part 2 for Scarlet and Violet is the item printer. It's a great facility where you can go in, put Pokemon materials into the machine, use blueberry points as well, to get a bunch of high cost items and very rare items as well. You've also got the bonus when you open this up later on to get double item drops as well as entering into the Pokeball Lotto, which is probably one of the features a lot of us use this item printer for in the first place because it gives our Beast Balls, Master Balls and all of the Apricorn Balls as well as special rare drops. We have covered a video all about the item finder, everything that you would need to know about it here on the channel already. So if you want to take a deeper dive into it, I'll link it down in the description and up in the right hand corner now. So you can check it out after this video. But in today's video, we're specifically going to be talking about how to quickly farm Pokemon materials because they are one of the key criteria that you're going to need when using the item printer along with Blueberry points. Again, a side note for Blueberry points, we have covered these on the channel already. If you want to take a look at the best methods for farming these in the game right now, you can check out that video. It'll also be linked in the description below. So when you come in to use the item printer in the club room, before you're able to use it, you have to meet a certain certain criteria of Pokemon materials. Now, each Pokemon that you defeat or catch in the wild drops materials that you then put into your bag. You use these also for making TMs. Each Pokemon's material has a different weighting percentage against it to meet the requirements that you need to fulfill a job for getting one item out of the item printer. One item requires 100% materials achieved and the maximum 10 jobs you can do would require 1000% of materials. As you can see down the list, every single Pokemon material has a different number against it. See here, these Magikarp scales have 9% weighting, whereas this Ditto Goo has a 68% weighting. The basic premise is to basically use a higher percentage per material as possible this means you'll be using less resources overall. For instance, if you're using the Magikarp skills to complete 10 items in one job lot, that would be a thousand percent you need to hit. Magikarp skills are nine percent, so essentially you're going to be using 112 Magikarp skills. That's basically going out and catching 112 Magikarps to do one set of 10 items. That is ridiculous. It's going to take you a long time if that's the only Pokemon material that you're relying on. Whereas if you use the Ditto Goo, which is 68% weighting, then you're only going to need 15 Ditto Goos to meet the requirements of that 1000% to get over the threshold so you can start the item job for those 10 items. The problem with Ditto is it's a difficult Pokemon to get very quickly in the game. So farming for Ditto Goo is probably not the best idea for you. But if you look through the list, there are other Pokemon that have similar weighting to their percentage with their Pokemon materials. One of them in particular is Hapini Dust. And this is the one that I'm going to recommend that you go out and farm because it is very quick and easy to do in game. With only 15 Hapini Dust, you're going to be able to do 10 items through the item printer, making it a very effective and resource friendly method of using this facility. But to do this, we're going to have to firstly travel back to Paldea and head to the North Province Area 3 fly spot. When you're at this Pokemon Center, you want to come around the back and down this bank towards this area and to a point where you can set up a picnic. We're going to be creating a sandwich, which is going to give us the encounter power level one for normal type Pokemon. This is a ham sandwich and is number 80 in the sandwich list if you've got all those listed. So basically that is how easy it's going to be. So you just want to set this up. Like I say, it's going to give you the encounter power level one for normal type Pokemon. Just ignore the other powers that it gives you because that's the one we're concentrating on. And in this area, you are going to get an influx of spawns for Chansey and Blissey. Now, both of these are going to drop the Hippini Dust, which is what we're going for. And you've got 30 minutes now to farm these Pokemon. The best and quickest method to do this is going to be using the Let's Go function. Now, I personally use Relo. You can use Varum, but I like to use these Pokemon in particular because they can go long distances to knock Pokemon out and they're very quick at doing it as well compared to some of the other options that you can use as Let's Go Pokemon. So once you set your sandwich up, Go crazy, go nuts for the next 30 minutes, knocking out as many Chansey and as Blissey as possible. Now, in my bag, I already had about 300 Hapini Dust materials. So 
in about 20 minutes, I max this out. So if you utilize that full 30 minutes, you're going to be able to max out your bag to 999. Each Chansey will drop between two and three Hapini Dusts, and each Blissey will drop between three and four. So it's a very quick, effective way to get a lot of these high percentage materials that you're going to need for the item printer. Like I said, it took me just under 20 minutes to max out my bag to get 999 Apini dust materials. Now that equates to about 66 item printer jobs. And of course, you've got to factor in that you will need blueberry points with that. That's about just under 2000 blueberry points for that amount of jobs. But it is a very quick method. You're taking basically half an hour out of your day to farm these materials, which are going to give you 66 jobs in the item printer. And that's a 10 items per time. So it's a really good, effective method for doing this and probably one of the best ones that we've got in the game. This method with the Chansey and the Blissey can also be doubled up as well for XP farming. So if you've got newly caught low level Pokemon that you want to level up and you don't really want to use your large XL or rare candies, this is a way to kind of kill two birds with one stone, attach lucky eggs to the Pokemon that you want to level up, and you can get those levels up very quickly by beating these Pokemon. They give a lot of EXP out when you defeat them, even in the Let's Go mode. The basic premise is that simple. You want to just keep going, knocking the Chansey and the Blissey out until you've got that 999 of the Hapini Dust materials in your bag. And then you can return back to the Blueberry Academy, back into the club room and go crazy with the item printer facility. In the list, it is quite far down the Hapini dust, but you can quicken this up. If you just toggle the left D-pad controller seven times and then up once, that will get you straight to the Hapini dust. Then you can toggle right on your D-pad. That'll max out the amount of material needed to complete that 1000% threshold. And then just press the plus button. And that is a really quick way to just cycle through when you're running and farming through all these items from the item printer and trying to get the pokeball lotto because that is the key i think a lot of us really if we're honest about it that is the main facility that we're really using when coming to use the item printer for the special pokeballs for this beast balls the sport ball the safari ball the apricorn balls and in particular the master ball as well they're all what we're really wanting but anything else on top of that is a bonus of course you're going to get the double item drops every now and again as well but the pokeball lotto is the one that we're all wanting but this is a very good effective way to farm for materials i think it's the best one that we've got at the moment keep an eye as well on the mass outbreak events that we do get in game of course as of recording this video right now there is a deli bird event happening over christmas now they have a very good weighting as well pokemon material percentage so this is going to be a great event to take advantage of the short period of time that it is to just farm for those materials because then you're going to be able to use them very easily in the item printer as well of course like i'm saying keep an eye on the mass outbreak events and what the weighting of those pokemon materials are from the mass outbreak pokemon and you can utilize this, kind of combine it in two, go for the shinies while also getting a lot of material for the item printer to use in future. But if you're short on them, if there is no mass outbreak events running at the time, this one that we've mentioned today about the Blissey and the Chansey is always going to be a very good, reliable way for you to go and get materials whenever you need them in a very short amount of time. So that is everything for today's video, friends. I hope you found it useful, a very quick one today, but a very effective method and one that I did want to share to make sure that everyone's got the ability to go out and do this. If you're looking for ways to get quick material in game to utilize the item printer, which is just a fantastic facility that we've got in the Indigo Disc. I've been loving it so far and getting some good drops as well. I've had some bad ones as well with the Pokeball Lotto. I've had a few occasions where I haven't even had a special Pokeball and uh, that kind of stings, but it's very fun nonetheless. Have a great rest of your day. Thanks for tuning in. If you found it useful, do drop a like, do subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all of our Pokemon Scarlet and Violet content, and I will see you all in another video very soon. So until then, friends, take care of yourselves and bye-bye.